Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Taramap and finally I got to review the Starseeker Tarot by uh, Nikki Ferrada. Uh, Nikki has created this deck a while back and um, it's been sent for a review. I know that a lot of you know this deck, a lot of you love this deck. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it and if anybody um, hasn't seen it, uh, you know, present it and tell you what I think about it. So it comes in this beautiful um, hard case box and um, I love the coloring of it, okay? The deck itself, it's produced really beautifully. It comes with the little white book uh, where you get um, descriptions of the cards and Nikki is um, a reader, you know, herself. So she has a lot of uh, experience in reading and it shows through the book, you know, it's based on Rider with Smith, but she also adds her personal um, kind of take on the cards, which is really nice. And the book uh, looks like this. And the cards are regular tarot size, 12 times 7 centimeters. And these are the bags, the reversible bags. And um, the they etched with this beautiful kind of lavender-like color, gray lavender. And um, they are really, you know, beautiful, beautifully produced. They do get a bend, but they're not very slidey. So if you love those, you know, um, slidey cards, these are not very slidey. they kind of more on those rose petally um, paper feel. Um, it feels actually really wonderful in the hands. I do wish these cards were a little bit thinner. You still get a good, you know, um, you do get a good shuffle of these because of the bend, which is nice. So it's okay to refill shuffle, but then, you know, with the sliding you, if you like the sliding um, paper, it's not the easiest, but they shuffle to me. They shuffle really well. It's fine. Um, and again, if you hold a singular card in the hand, you get this really lovely feel in, in it. I do love the coloring of the deck, as I mentioned, and I'm going to go through a few of the cards so you can take a look um, and just see what I mean. Also, um, while I'm here, <laughs> not only the coloring, but also some of the reinterpretation of uh, Nikki's take on, on tarot. So love the Seven of Pentacles when you have that nurturing quality going into the seeds. Um, the Six of Pentacles. And, you know, the figures maybe are a little bit static. So sometimes I, um, I, I, I usually prefer a bit more kind of... Um, 3D figures, but they do have, the whole deck has coherence in it, and it had this a little bit more like a um, comic uh, feel to it through uh, how the, you know, how, how the people are created, and you do get people of different skin colors. This is a Croatia cut for me. <laughs> Just reminds me of the color of the sky there. It's so beautiful. I love the judgment. Um, there's softness about this deck. Um, there is really beautiful kind of feminine vibe around it. Um, this is probably one of the least favorite cards of mine, unfortunately. I do usually love the High Priestess, but I just don't gel with this one. I know what Nikki kind of felt, you know. Um, she is turned inward, so she's not so outside, uh, into the outside of the world. She's veiled. So I get all the symbolism. I just don't gel with it. Uh, is it the body shape? I don't know. There is just something about it that I don't quite um, get, you know. But the rest of the deck, um, I, I love all of the cards. I love that the little frames are also not white, but, you know, you get the cream, cream kind of ivory feel. So it makes the deck look softer and feel softer. The coloring, the greens, um, um, pinks are really beautiful. This Nine of Cups must be one of my favorite Nine of Cups cards. It's just so gorgeous. I love the willow tree. I love the sense of like ritual and that dream world that, you know, can come true with Nine of Cups, the wish card. Love the wheel with the stars and the spider. 
the six of wands how cool and some of the cards with the black background are actually so stunning and when you put a few cards together you know they they just connect and it looks so beautiful together so the six of wands with a little witch i think it's a pretty cool a magician looks very kind of christ-like to me and two of cups it's a heterosexual couple so if you have any other um orientation maybe that's not something that you would connect with um but well i do because i'm a heterosexual <laughs> uh, five of cups um i love the mood the king of wands king of swords with his like clouds in in the top the chariot well that's a card i had a very personal experience with it reminds me of one of my um kind of like beings guides that appeared recently i love the hierophant with this kind of uh universe or you know a cosmic cloak six of swords so we can see it's a little bit different to um rider Waite smith still the same kind of meaning but depicted differently the world i love the darkness of it it's really cool five of wands with, uh, with that kind of touch of struggle and a bit of obstacles four of pentacles a little bit different too and queen of swords with her scars on the face and again three of wands and look how wonderful that um dark background is and she's already on the boat right she's already out there and three of cups ten of swords she is wonderful so peaceful and so kind of um emotional on one end but also aware you know and connected and tuned in and four of cups and ten of pentacles i really love when it indicates that kind of generational feel an ancestral um, feel to it devil again not my favorite probably but you know it's a devil page of pentacles i love that you know he's got books and page of cups seven of swords a little bit different take ace the hermit very cute the empress and i just love the um you know the feel of how the deck operates together with the colors the colors make you feel the cards better um so that kind of black you know the dark uh, light uh, stimulus it's really beautiful it's well balanced in this deck it's a really nice deck for daily readings for relationship readings i think it's because of this gentleness and emotionality kind of i love this three of swords um so yeah if if you're drawn to this particular deck i think you you'll be happy to find out that it works really well for like day-to-day -day readings relationship readings anything uh, emotional it's gentle it delivers messages honestly but it has that yeah like this gentle um feel to it and it goes together with that physical feel because they just feel so soft you know and you will be able to read this deck if you know rider it's where it's smith or if you're learning rider with smith um, it's you know you will find even though the cards might look different but you will find that the idea behind the image is the same and this is an additional card the womb and queen of pentacles eight of swords with a little bit you know different uh, meaning like you know maybe there is an out if you're willing to take a look or look around ace of swords the moon so yeah the whole deck um is you can feel it's a work of love it feels good it looks beautiful and it reads well too um so if you were kind of you know on the cusp or is it for me or not just take a take a look again um, because I was actually surprised. I always liked it. But as I said, because of the people, I wasn't sure if I'm going to connect uh, to it. 
um, and and I did. So let's just see a few cuts to put out. And I noticed that it works really well with you know the Sacred Creatives Oracle by Chris Ann. It works well with any deck, right? But um, because of the coloring and that um, similar kind of gentle vibe, it, it looks really nice with this deck. And also I felt um, that, uh, for example, the Faceted Garden Oracle might look nice. Let's just take a look if this is not too much. But again, because of the colors and how how the deck looks, <laughs> how the how the cards look together, I think that's like such a beautiful combo as well. So um, yeah, and um, I guess the Illuminated Elf Oracle by Claire Mack as well, the same artist as the Faceted Elf Oracle, would also fit nicely because of the similar art style and the similar coloring. So you get that beautiful um, kind of, you know, artistic vibe when you put those two decks together. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you all the best. And this was the beautiful uh, Star Seeker Tarot by Nikki Ferrada. Um, she is um, to found uh, on Instagram, of course. And there's also the website starseekertarot.com and the deck can be purchased on Etsy. So um, yeah, take a look at this and thank you for watching. Bye.